Hello again, and thank you for joining Jeff and Jenny's Classic Restoration as well. As you can see, we're now back with the Jaguar for one more week now. Um, if this doesn't work, then I'll have to give up, unfortunately, but uh, I'm not one for giving up. So, as I mentioned last week, I think the DPF filter is clean. Loads of muck came out of it. Still got the warning light on, but uh, one of the other fault codes is P00BD. Um, so, I've looked it up, and it's basically to do with a math sensor um, needs to be cleaned and also checked for uh, vacuum leaks downstream with the math sensor so I think the first thing I'm going to do today um, I'm going to start taking out the uh, the air filter box um, and try and get through to the math sensor and give that a clean to start with and, uh, and then maybe we do a smoke test and see if there are any vacuum leaks so let's start off with taking the air filter box off and uh, try and get to the math sensor. Well, as you saw in my changing the air filter video, a few, uh, a few Jaguar videos back, um, you've got to remove this. This is just these little, um, three little plugs in there. Um, wish we can get out with that in a minute. Uh, one 10 mil bolt there, which will loosen this whole unit. And then I'll undo the connector here which joins to the math sensor and hopefully we can pull that off so I won't bother showing all that just get these three bolts out get that bolt out there and and uh, un and loosen off the math sensor so we'll see how we get on with that right so so that was the air intake thing that's off with the three little clips um, and there's actually two inlet pipe or outlet pipes here so I'll take the whole I can actually make things easy in a minute just take this off completely um, but in here once we get this one more pipe here get that off and in there we have two math sensors now one thing I did notice on uh, which one was it this one uh, it's a bit corroded in there because we had that major water leak that sprayed everywhere so I'll give all this a clean um, not too sure, yeah, they do look a bit grubby, so we'll have to give this a clean in a second. So uh, bear with me for one minute. We're well, looking at these, this is definitely the worst one, and on that uh, report thing I got, it says that it's um, bank one, which would be this one. So what I'm going to do individually, just uh, hopefully get these two out so we can get the whole unit off and get some... Uh, cleaner in there some uh, MF, MF what they call it mass airflow cleaner and uh, so we'll get this one off and then we'll try and give this a clean well, as I say this is the that's a big bank one this is the where the the fault actually says it is um, you can see there I think you can see probably it's a bit grubby so we've got some mass airflow cleaner so we'll just see if we can get any improvement on that Yeah, I think so, yeah. All right, okay. We'll leave that for a minute and then I'll just hopefully clear that, blow that out, hopefully in a minute. And I'll do the other side, which is not as bad, but might as well do it whilst we're there. So let me do the other side, get this one back on and I'll come back to you. Right, so uh, all those math sensors are now clean. I've also uh, cleaned up the um, connectors as well to so say they were a little bit dirty uh, I'm now going to try this smoke detector thing again um, just to make sure there are no leaks hopefully this uh, this will work what I'm trying to do this is an old glove on here and uh, what I do stop most of it coming out this way I just poke that down a little hole hopefully we can get it in there where's it gone now so most of it goes down instead of up. We can stick that down the hole. There we are. And now we can have a look, make sure nothing comes out anywhere other than there. So we give that a minute. Uh, let's, let's up the smoke a bit more. So at the moment, just 
there, but um, obviously it will do. So we'll let that, I'm going to let that go for a bit, and if I see any smoke, I'll come back to you and uh, show you where it is. But at the moment, that's okay. And then what I do, I just repeat the test with this one, and uh, and then we know that area is, uh, is okay. So um, let me just, uh, if anything goes wrong, I'll come back to you. If uh, not, I'll um, move on to this one and check that. Well, there's no leaks for what I can see this side of things, so I'm hoping that the cleaning of the math sensors would have uh, might have solved a problem. So um, I'm now going to get back, get all this all back together again, and then um, maybe we'll start it up, see if there's any, any faults have reoccurred, and uh, we'll have to move on from there. Well, it's all back together again. Um, I did one more leak test over here on that uh, sensor I had to clean before. Well, I've just cleaned that of DPF cleaner. And it's all back together again. I haven't put the top back on just yet, uh, the engine cover. Uh, it's probably I have to take it off again shortly. So I'm going to take it for a run. I've cleared the, 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 uh, the faults. It's still got the DPF fault on there, but the other ones have gone. So uh, I'll just, just take it up the road very quickly. And uh, usually the um, restricted performance light comes on um, very quickly. So I'm going to take it up the road. I'll come back shortly and I'll let you know if anything has come back. Well, it's next day now. Uh, I did film the, the ending of this video yesterday because I'd had enough. It was fine for a while. Um, went for a little bit of a run, came back, gave it a little bit of welly, and uh, the uh, low, uh, restricted performance came back again. And I'd pretty much given up. So I, I finished off giving up. I'm not a one for giving up. I have to continue. I took Jenny out for a walk last night, thinking about different things. So I'm going to give it one more go today, a few other things to try, and. Uh, see how we get on with this. I'll just show you what I have been doing and uh, and then we'll get on with it. Right, uh, first thing I've done, I've taken off this, uh, this intake. Um, inside there is a, um, you can see it, there's a little sensor in there as well, uh, which I've cleaned and this is full of muck. So I've cleaned that one out. And if we go down to the throttle body, you can see the little flap there. I think you can just about see it. You push that round and that's supposed to obviously go flap in and out, but it gets to that stage and it's stuck, which is obviously, I don't, I doubt if this is gonna be the major problem, but it certainly won't help. So I'm looking at taking this, I did clean all this out when I had to do that water leak, but it's not, it, it's pretty stuck. So I'm gonna clean that out, probably take the throttle body off. Um, that's all I can think of at the moment. Oh yes, and I just want to uh, smoke test this pipe as well. Put some, uh, see if there's any vacuum leak down there. So I'm going to uh, take this off. Um, it's, uh, it's not too difficult, it's just um, a couple of bolts here. Take this EGR valve pipes off um, and we have a chance to give it a complete good clean out and see what things are like in there. So I'm gonna do this, take this bit off and uh, see how we get on from there. Right, so uh, I've undone the brackets here to hold on the EGR pipes. They're now loose. All the connectors are away. Uh, so hopefully we can, I can't do this one handed, but this just wiggles out. So I do, I do have a friend helping me here. No one normally helps me. My next door neighbor, Nelly, she's very good. Uh, very intelligent so um just wiggle this out so i can't do it with uh, with one hand but uh, i'll come back to you in a minute right well this is off now i've cleaned out these um two holes here this one i'm gonna just gently fold the the edge of that butterfly and also the egr pipe the index of the wind the egr pipes one of them is uh probably half blocked so that needs to be cleaned so that could well be a problem so I'm going to give that a go clean it out and uh, see how we go from there right so I've now I've, I've trying to sort out the butterfly in there um, and also I've just taking this out these are the EGR pipe um, sort of filters at the end there uh, both of them are exactly the same I would think that's probably got a restricted airflow going through it uh, what do you think so that needs to be uh, deep cleaned before all this goes back so uh, I'll get on and do that and see what we come up with 
There we are, with the help of my assistant holding the camera, clean that one up. You can see nice big holes in there. This one still to be cleaned, no holes. So I think that's where our problem lies. So I'll carry on with this one. I've still got to do the little butterfly if we get that sorted out. And uh, we'll get uh, this one cleaned and back in. Okay, well, here we are. Uh, it's all had a good clean now, as you saw the state of that. Now, if you, I don't know if you can see through there, you can actually see the holes now in there. It was completely blocked. You wouldn't even know there was I holes there. I can't see. You yeah. can't see it on the you might, be able, you might be able to see it. This is my uh, assistant <laughs> helping me. And also now this butterfly now is not stuck. So I'm hoping that would have been the problem. These EGR valve pipes were completely blocked. So that'll do me. We'll get, uh, get this back on and see how things go. Well, all back together again. Um, if there was anything wrong, it was certainly those uh, those holes all blocked up on the uh, EGR valve pipes. Absolutely caked. You wouldn't even know there was holes there until you washed it. So we're back together again. I'm um, hoping for the best. Um, I'm going to take it for a quick drive. Um, when I come back, hopefully it would have been sorted. But uh, if not, I really don't know what to do. But uh, let me take it for a drive. I'll come back to you and see what the results are. See you in a while. Well, back from the drive, straight away, we got the uh, engine management light on again. Well, not the restricted performance. Um, I'll show you what we've got here. Hopefully, bear with me. We've now got, um, well, the original one, mass or volume airflow coloration uh, coloration bank one uh, we've also got um, turbo boost pressure low now it's a new one um, mass or volume airflow b circuit range performance airflow too high and as i say the generic one um, map mass or volume airflow coloration bank one um, so I've, apart from the DPF, I've got another three. Well, I've got three faults to sort out. Uh, I've really given up. I just, you know, I mean, obviously those those little holes were completely blocked, so I would have understood that was the problem. So I'm going to have to look into these codes now. Um, I need to get back to two-stroke engines again very shortly. I've had enough of it. But uh, yeah, so I'll call this a day now. I look into these faults. Maybe I'll come back and have another go. But uh, it's taken a lot of my time up, so I need to get back to the. Um, the Velo Solix. So, uh, you know, I've tried for two days, but uh, still no luck. Well, that's it. Uh, we were supposed to have Nelly was going to come and say goodbye, but um, she's gone out and I've got to get this video finished today. Uh, it's uh, been a bit of a nightmare. I've even had another go this afternoon, smoke testing this, smoke testing that. Still no luck. Um, so I really don't know what I can do. I've noticed there's quite a lot of oil in the V of the engine. It could be uh, leaking. Um, well, you know, the uh, valve covers or whatever. I don't know. I really don't know. I've tried everything. Um, I've looked up online and uh, even people take them to Jaguar and they end up with the same problem again. So there's nothing really I, I can do anymore. I've tried everything. That uh, EGR hose, they, they were definitely caked in dirt and all the holes were blocked up. I thought that would be the problem, but no. But anyway, I've had enough of this for, well, for now and uh, we're going to come back to the Velo Solix next week. Um, nice to be back to two strokes again instead of all these blooming sensors. So uh, until next week, you take care and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.